Call Halalium, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. This is Brother Gad I won. Brother Kanat. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, the Hour of Temptation and what's going on right now, okay? Because everything's moving towards the mark of the beast. Everything's moving towards you selling out, man. Selling out or 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 or, or sacrificing everything to be with you have a shot, you know? And that's the time we're moving into. So we're gonna read uh, Revelation three and ten just to start it off. Okay, I'm gonna get it out. Go. This is Revelation three and verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, how do we keep the word of my of, of the Lord's patience? We kept it by doing his work, enduring to the end, okay? Fulfilling uh, uh, the prophecy of enduring to the end. And how are you going to do that? By being patient, right? Which is long suffering. Keep going on. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And what's the hour of temptation? The hour of the temptation is the mark of the beast, okay? And we're in the hour of temptation right now. We're in the hour of temptation right before the destruction. Because before... The destruction happens. Satan's gonna come down and try to uh, try and, and try to defeat the elect, man. It says it even it says deceive the very elect, if it be possible, man. Which we know is not possible, but that's coming, man. Okay, and what's gonna be happening in that hour of temptation? Nothing but hell. Okay, but we rather we rather catch the hell now so the Lord can keep us from that hour of temptation when it comes. Okay. Keep reading up. Yeah, it says, "Which shall come upon the which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." To try them that dwell upon the earth, and we know what are they trying you to try your faith. And it's gonna come upon the whole world, so the whole world is gonna suffer from this hour of temptation. And what is that gonna happen? What does that mean? That means World War Three. Okay, the mark of the beast. The famines, the pestilence, all these things may be happening all at once, very soon. Okay, we're we're at the beginning of it right now. You have something else up? Yeah, I got a piece of, and then one one other thing that word try, it also means the the word test. So mm -hmm. that's when your faith is going to be tested. It's when um when all these things, all these calamities start. Yep, and here it is, in the Greek. Periazo, meaning to try whether a thing can be done. That's a test. Mm -hmm. To attempt, to endeavor, to try, make trial of, test, for the purpose of ascertaining his quality or what he thinks, how he will behave himself. Mm -hmm. So what? We're, the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is testing us, tempting us to see how we'll behave ourselves when the devil comes seeking after us, man. And what are they going to do? They're going to want you to forsake Yahweh Shem Shai, to forsake doing this work. The Lord told us to forsake all for him, man. And our disciples did such. Uh, yeah, you got some Yeah, I got, a, I got a precept. This is a... Uh, Hold on one sec. Let's say it. This is Sirach. It's an apocryphal. I'm going to yeah, uh, Sirach 2 and 5. Right, boom. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Gold is tried in the fire, so to make sure, to see how much of your gold is truly gold, you got to you gotta melt it, and then you'll see the impurities of it come out. And that's how you know you have pure gold or there's tungsten in it, right? And so are acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So when the, we know the furnace means heat. And the Most High is putting you under that heat, that pressure of adversity. That adversity is what? These bodies, right? We're in these bodies. We're suffering these infirmities. Okay, we're, we're under subjection. We're in captivity, first and foremost, under the so-called white man. Right? <laughs> <We're coughs> so, like, everything we're, we have to do, we have to do it uh, through the approval of the so-called white man. You got to... You have to uh, judge situations and say, oh, man, if I do this, I might go to jail. 
oh, if I drive too fast, I may, I may, I may get pulled over, and you don't have enough money to pay that ticket. They're gonna impound your car, and they're gonna suspend your license, your registration. You're, you're through. Right. That's all because of the so-called white man. That's part of that furnace of adversity. These women dealing with a woman. She's a total slut, a complete hoe. But she's gonna try to tell you what to do. This woman's supposed to be put to death, man, for stepping up against you. All right, you got these heathens all over the place. I'm on the freeway. You see nothing but heathens. That's at, that's the furnace of adversity, man. Yeah. Brothers are sick, have a uh, high blood pressure, uh, uh, diabetes, infirmities, all right, sickle cell, all kinds of hell. All right. Yeah, okay. precept. This is uh, Psalms 34:19. Hold on one second. Let me get it up. Psalms 141. Psalms 34. Okay. And, uh, and 19. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yeah, many are the afflictions of the righteous. And the most righteous man ever to exist on the earth was Yahweh Shai. And he went through many afflictions. Okay, keep going. But the Lord delivered him out of all of them. Right. And we see all the afflictions of great men that were set before us. The afflictions of Moses, the afflictions of Daniel. And the Lord did what? He delivered him out of them all. Right? Not one did the Lord forsake his chosen, the righteous. Okay? And now, oh, you uh, you can say, oh, well, why the Lord forsake you when you guys went into slavery, when he, he allowed you to lose your, your customs? Hey, man, that's part of the prophecy. And now we're in the time where the righteous are coming back, okay? We're in that time where the Lord is going to deliver us out of this. That's why you see these so-called white people get defeated. You can't get us off the streets, man. Why? Because the Most High is is giving that that power right to His chosen, man. Where you can't defeat this truth. You can't disprove Yahabashim Yahushai's truth. All you can do is afflict the men telling the truth, right? And of course, some of them guys ain't gonna make it, man. The dudes who ain't built for it. The weaklings, they get weeded out, right? The Most High is trying his 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 men to see if they're acceptable, as the brother read earlier in Sirach. And that furnace of affliction, those those different on trials and tribulations. If you go through, you get purified through that fire, you know. And and ultimately, we're going to be brought through the fire physically when the Lord comes back, you know. But now we have to suffer. That's why the scriptures say, "Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him." Out of all of them, I'm gonna keep reading. It says he keep it, <coughs> he keep it, he keep all his bones, and none of them are broken. So in the time that we're coming into, that's why the scripture. Um, we can get the scripture later, you know, Revelation 12 and 12, that the devil come unto you with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time, and that's the time that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. We're in the time where uh, Esau he's gonna really start rolling out. All these things that he had in plan uh, from the beginning, and one of those things was the mark of the beast, which is going to be brought. It's going to be brought uh, through by that the cryptocurrency, and we're actually seeing the the pretty much the the beginning stages of, of what Esau wants to do with this digital society. All right, and ultimately he's going to actually make it all digital, and he's going to put it inside your body, and that's the time that we're coming into Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. And I, I got that Jacob trouble real quick, real quick. So Jeremiah thirty and seven. Okay. You know they got a lot of precepts. You know. It's all good. We're in the spirit. So yeah, this is Jeremiah thirty and seven. Alas, for that great, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, that day is great, so that none is like it. And we read it earlier. The hour of temptation, it's gonna, it's gonna fall upon all, all the whole world. But hey, it's gonna be even Jacob's trouble. So we're gonna be getting catching the most hell out of it. But we shall be saved out of it. Okay, who's gonna be saved? The Lord's chosen. Okay, the Most High is gonna uh, uh, not forsake his elect and raise him out of out of this hell hole and and and, and put us in them chariots. So. We can get down with the Lord, all right? Because when the Lord returns, what is he going to do? He's going to put you people down to death, all right? But for right now, it's the so-called white man, all right? He's going to be the one coming 
coming down with that great wrath. Uh, you got that in Revelation? Yeah, okay. Let's read it. It's in Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth mm -hmm. and of the sea. Hey, <laughs> hey but, uh, like how we break it down at camp. Hey, why are the heavens and 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 why are the heavens rejoicing and all the angels and the Lord, uh, all the righteous souls with the Lord, dwelling with them? Why are they why are they celebrating? Woe and destruction to the people of the earth. Why? If God loves everybody, keep going. Woe to in, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, because he knows he have but a short time. Yeah, this devil is running out of time. Okay? That they the, you so called white people, that short time with that beast that was wounded, that 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 wounded beast. Now that you're trying to come back, you know you got a short time. So you're coming with that wrath, meaning you want to come and try to exterminate the Israelites. You try to you you've been that's been your plan from the beginning. Alright? And that, that that final plan, you so-called white people, you're gonna you're gonna use the mark of the beast to do it, because you know that the ones who don't take the beat mark of the beast are the Lord's chosen man, people that are with Yahweh Shem Because a lot of people they're gonna not take it, just because the spirit is on them not to take it. Those people could be the part of the chosen man. They could be part of the one third. Because if you do take it, you for sure are not. All right, none of you guys that take that chip. In that our temptation are going to make it, all right? You're all going to be put to death. Okay? Um, let me read this in Matthew 26, okay? And it says, Matthew 26 and 41, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Right? We're watching and seeing what's happening right now. What's happening right now is that the so-called white man his his economy is collapsing, all right. His his uh his his dollar is is becoming obsolete. People don't want to deal with the fiat. That's why these American dollars are going to what the Bitcoin, all right. And what's what's coming next is the so-called white man. He has this thing called Fedcoin, all right. It's a this is the Washington Post on December eighteenth. It says Bitcoin is big, but Fedcoin is bigger. Meaning what? The so-called white man, the Federal Reserve, is going to launch their own cryptocurrency. Was that cryptocurrency going to be backed by? Backed by nuclear missiles, right? Backed by the devil himself. Okay? Because a lot of these other cryptocurrencies, a lot of them Jake created, man. I was mm -hmm. looking at some of these uh, ICOs that are coming out. There's one in London. The creators are Jake's. Mm -hmm. Like West African dudes and Elamites. No, no few, very few Edomites, just Edomite advisors. So everyone's getting on the crypto. I think uh, a lot of these other cryptos, it's only like 20% is ran by uh, America. <laughs> the other 20% is owned by Russians. And the rest is in all other places throughout the earth, man. So this whole technology is taking over the whole earth. And uh, this so-called white man, he's going to use it to push this mark of the beast, man. Because he, here it is, he's, he's using the example in this article. You brothers could check out the article. Bitcoin is big, Fedcoin is bigger. It's just a big propaganda hit piece on how the so-called white man needs to go paperless. And let me just read this one quick part. <coughs> All right. Yep. It says... As we increasingly move toward a cashless, it's a lot, a cashless society, man. All right, how are you gonna move to a cashless society? They go just as far as saying, "Hey, we're gonna inject it into your body as an RFID microchip." You know, they go just as far as not saying that. Yeah. You know, but the idea of central banks taking advantage of crypto surge becomes more plausible. All right. While none government controlled crypto could rather like gold is central controlled either, the big idea is blockchain technology, and brothers have gone into it. The blockchain is what's gonna be behind the whole. How do we know it's you, with the mark of the beast, 
and how do we get your Mark of the Beast crypto that's in your hand into the grocery store to get your food, to allow you to unlock your car, to allow you to enter into a, a different part of the city, right? To have access to places where people that don't have that injection in their hand cannot get that access, right? That's the bottom line, bottom damn line, yeah. bottom damn, bottom damn, <laughs> bottom damn, damn line. All right, and that that's the time we're getting into. Okay, that temptation. Uh, I'm gonna get the First Peter five. Oh, unless you got something else. No, no, it's good. It's good. I get uh, First Peter five. Con and eight. Because this is what's happening, right? <laughs> and you brothers, man. <coughs> You know, your brothers that can get into it, get into the fucking Bitcoin, man. You got money? You know somebody with money? Get it into some damn coin, man. Fuck the fiat. American dollars out of here, man. All right, there's people on here that just live off of this shit, and it's, it's, you could do it yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's too late to get in. Hey, man, you're going to be saying that next year if we're still around. If this place isn't in full-blown World War Three, by August, this shit's going to be worth 100 k man. All right? People are betting on it. These coins right now is at 14, 15,000. One coin going to be 100K, man. All right? So imagine putting a, a couple hundred bucks in it into the coin. You're going you're gonna to profit, man. You're going to make 10 times as much as that 100 bucks. You're going to have $1,000. All right? So that, that's, that's, that's how it works. And if you don't fuck with it, who cares? Don't fuck with it, man. The spirit ain't on you. Don't, the spirit ain't on you, man. Because the spirit's on some brothers. Hey, that the, the spirit's gonna have brothers. It's all gonna work out for the spirit, man. Because it says, mm -hmm. "My servant shall eat." All right? It says, "It says, woe, laugh now, cry later." All right? All right we, we're hungered now, so we can eat later. Let me uh, get that First Peter, Bob Kasha. Uh, five and eight, Bob Kasha. First Peter's five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, and that, how is he going through as a roaring lion? He does it a lot right now through his money system. Yeah. Okay. The adversary devil, he'll just show he shows you on the money system, man. He's constantly taxing you, he's taking it away. Right? He, he's giving you parking tickets. He's charging you fees. Uh uh making you pay out number uh, outrageous bill for 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 heat you know you gotta keep yourself warm and shit it's expensive man this devil wants to devour you and even more so to be vigilant as in knowing that being prepared for the this hour of temptation knowing what kind of devices this goddamn devil's gonna come up with to come against you as as part of the lord's uh uh people that know you have a shy man you're the main targets of satan Right, if you believe in Yahweh Shemayosha, you watching the videos. You come into the camp. You on the outside. You in the camp. You already teaching, man. You deal with heavy, high level demons, man, trying to make you go astray, man. And that's the that devil, that roaring lion walking about seeking to whom he may devour, man. And he's gonna devour the weaklings, all right? Keep going up. Verse nine: Whom resist steadfast in the faith. Knowing the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. And the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren in the world, all right? Because you're going through some, a brother <laughs> across the country doing, across the, uh, across, uh, uh, the continent, man. On a different continent is going through the same thing, man. So whom to resist steadfast in the faith, all right? If you're resisting and you're steadfast in the faith, you know, we're going hard, man. You see brothers out here. In the spirit, man. And we're getting ready for this hour of temptation. This this whole thing is going to collapse. The dollar is going to be out of these people. The grocery stores are going to be empty. These women, they're going to be throwing themselves at you. You're not going to want to deal for because that's going to be another mouth to feed. Right? You, you, or you brothers that are solitary, you're solo, man. Keep it that way, man. We're at the end of this thing. Don't worry about these things of the world, man. Because that's part of this... This devil trying to devour you. You over here, oh, man, I should get married. You end up marrying a fat bitch, man, falling out. You're low level, man. You ain't got nothing. You could have listened to the brothers. You could have got on to something, man. You could have been living 
could have been good, man. But no, you're a fucking piece of shit. The Most High rejected you, and he set you to be destroyed. And they got Mozart, man, looking like a damn Edomite, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing that, man. You devils, head. man. You devils, man. I was devils, in my thinking the same thing. Like, I was like, I'm going to do a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said pretty much, yeah. We, you know, we got the... Um, we got the Mozart playing in the background, and it looked like a straight Edomite, <laughs> a straight Edomite, man. You know, and that, but that that's what's one of <clears throat> that's one of the wiles of the devil. What's the word? The word wild means trickery. So that's something. That's how he he tricks your mind. He wants to come into your mind, and that's that's one way that he does it. And he's gonna come into your mind with these cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are gonna get trapped up. A lot of Israelites are gonna get trapped up. Because either they're on the hype or they're not on the hype, but he's going to give it to you. Like you were reading that article, <coughs> I think earlier you was reading it. You were reading something about it how they can just put like a thousand chips or a thousand credits on your on your crypto. Oh, let me read it right here. Yeah, yeah. He it said, that. "Worried about deflation and a recession? No longer. A national cryptocurrency such as Fed Coin would be able to operationalize Mellon Friedman's famous." Helicopter cash as an alternative strategy to stimulate the economy. Mm -hmm. A single line of code, which is the blockchain, could instantly put a thousand dollars into every person's wallet. You see that? They so they're gonna they're gonna uh, they're gonna they're gonna <coughs> push it to you in a very uh, in a very uh, uh, um, gracious way, so to speak. Like, look, we can give you a thousand coins, or we can give you a thousand. We can give you ten thousand dollars to stimulate, because really the money's not coming from nothing. It's just this is what Esau really wants. He wants to have all the physical wealth, and he wants to get. He wants to put your ass into a computer game, and and one click of the button, <coughs> he can actually uh, make you a millionaire. And that's what you're seeing in a lot of these guys that are invested in the cryptocurrency. They're becoming multi millionaires and billionaires. Mm -hmm. Over, over overnight, and a lot of the guys that are in it are already big players, already dudes that are heavy insiders, man, hardcore insiders that are going in this because you can see this is at an unprecedented rate of growth, man. The amount of people uh, putting money into the shit, the market share of just the cryptocurrency in general, that's a huge market share, and it keeps going up. It keeps multiplying every year. So you know, 2018 is becoming more mainstream. It's gonna, it's gonna get to, in 2018. It's gonna be, it's gonna blow up, man. People say it's a bubble, man. A hey, bubble or not, the shit is going up. It's not gonna be a bubble. It's not. Look at the, look at the real estate market here in California. They said this shit going to correct. It going to bubble. Motherfuckers yeah. paying even not more dollars. money, man. Yeah. It's gonna keep the dollars and it keep going to value and prices and it keep going up. Until they collapse it completely, man, and they're gonna force you on this crypto. Yeah, right? Everybody's gonna. So we we know that it's not gonna bubble, so to speak, in a sense of how the economists and all these bug guys are saying on on on, the, on these news articles is because this is the actual technology of the mark of the beast, and this is actually biblical prophecy. Now, whether it's Bitcoin that bubbles or Litecoin. Well, they're bringing in something well, like the brother was talking about that Fed coin, which is going to be a globalized, centralized bit. I would say a globalized um, blockchain technology, or whatever they call it, to where yeah. now you can trade it on all different platforms. Mm -hmm. Well, see, the when the when uh, Venezuela rolled out the Petro, that was just the beginning, man. Because now you have the Chinese working on their Petro on, on their uh, crypto yuan. You have the crypto ruble, and then now you have Fed coin coming, right? And then this is what they say here about the Fed coin. They say there is another reason for governments to like the idea of a national cryptocurrency, strengthening the power of monetary policy to help manage the economy. Meaning they can have total control of the dollar, man. Because they say over here, cash has the distinct advantage of being anonymous. They don't want you doing anonymous transactions. They want to watch everything you do, man. They want to watch what you do. They want to. They want to own the air you breathe. As brothers always talk about, and tax you for it. All the easier when they got it in your hand and on their cryptocurrency. Okay. And that this is what's this is the future, Akim. This is what's we're moving towards, man. Right. This thing with Bitcoin going crazy. You're gonna get caught out there, man. You guys ain't on it. Ain't watching it. 
Right. Um, Isaiah 33. Hold on one second. Okay. Like, my man, the Raiders dude, the nigga that played for the Raiders that was in Houston camp. Oh, uh. This dude got millions of dollars, right? He fell out. Of, he fell out. Yeah. He's a millionaire. Super Bowl. What's it called? The millionaire? I forget the name. Super Bowl tranny? Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's, that's the better. The tranny whisper. The tranny whisper. <laughs> the nigga was a, uh, he had super, uh, he had the spirit to acknowledge what trannies are. A bug out. Anyways, he had millions of dollars. He had the spirit of the demon Satan defeated him. The nigga's stupid. You have them M's. The nigga should be put in the coin. Yeah, he should And give them coins to the apostles. That piece of shit. All right? But see, a nigga like that go. Hit, when the dollar collapses, he ain't gonna have nothing, man. Yeah, they're gonna, gonna they're gonna have nothing. But if you was in the coin, the crypto, they're just gonna move that crypto to the RFID, or you're already gonna have access to your coins, man, through the crypto. While everyone else is out there forced on the mark, man. This is what's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna have to move funds somewhere and then watch how they're gonna make you get in. Oh, you're gonna have to move your money to Fed coin. And once you move your money to Fed coin, you're on the mark of the beast, man. You're going to have to take that chip. But you dudes out there on the other cryptos, you can just go online to a computer, log in, get it, transmove it, boom, boom, boom. All right? Use your smartphone. But they're going to end up shutting that down. All right? And you're just going to be caught out there. Everyone is going to be caught out there in the hour of temptation, Yeah, man. because it says that um, pretty much if you don't have that mark, you can neither buy nor sell. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be centralized. Yeah, it's gonna be totally controlled. All right, and they're gonna shut down Bitcoin. They're gonna call it illegal. But until then, man, you brothers better enjoy that ride. All right, because we we on we on the ride to salvation. We on a ride to chariot. Right, with the before we you know it goes up do 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 do. All right, that roller coaster, and then it dips, and it's gonna be all hell breaking loose, man. All right, and we we about to go through all them twists and turns. We already going through a few of them right now, man. All this hell coming on uh, unto brothers, man. You, know, you see the uh, so the spiritual demon Satan is dealing with these Christians. They coming at the apostles. They coming at the camps. It's light work. It's nothing big, man. Uh, Yakko Wacko, that dude is. He's been. De he defeated him. He defeated himself by suicide, man. He ain't nobody dealing with that guy, right? We waiting for the big guns, Esau. Yeah. We waiting on your beast, on this market of peace. We waiting on you trying to put us to death, man, for being out there teaching this word, okay? We waiting on you goddamn devils to make your fucking move. All right? We ready for this shit. And you other guys that ain't ready for it, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, man, getting into the Bitcoin now is like getting into the truth. Getting back into Bitcoin back in 2011... I don't know if I should put my, all my talents into that, man. That's how the real coin is this truth, man. Putting your talents in this truth because you you seeing the meteoric rise of the men of the Lord, okay? And the meteoric rise of the men of the Lord is going to uh, it's gonna enca it's gonna encapsulate with us in the brand new bodies with the Lord and the holy angels. Establishing what? The kingdom of heaven, Lord willing. You got some out? Yeah, this is uh, Matthew's. Uh, 10 and 18 it says and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles and this is gonna be coming all right they're gonna grab brothers hey man what'd you guys do to us what's happening right because we we they, we know about what you guys were saying right because a lot of times man they may be Trying to filter us through concentration camps or whatever. And then the elites, they're going to want to speak to us, man. The top level dudes. Why? Because they know they're going to see the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai on us, man. People already do see that. Bug out. Mm -hmm. uh, regular, regular people. Some people can see demons on other people. Uh, on, I remember one time we was with Badia through. <coughs> and there was a bug out. On the street, and they the bug out to, told me and the brother your call that beta your through had Satan on him, which was very much true. The guy, little little Satan, little baby Satan. All right, yeah, big big baby Satan. If I can say this, because when y'all was shy, when y'all was shy, was on the scene, a lot of the demons got roused up, and they'll be like, um, pretty much they were mad that y'all was shy was there. It's, it's, it's not. It's, 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 uh, this is the son of this is the son of uh, David. 
or they'll whatever they'll say. They'll say, is it is 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 it? You, why are you here, basically? And Yahweh Shai used to have to rebuke them. Mm-hmm. They can actually see. They can actually see the spirits. And these people can see the spirits. And what's going to happen is they're going to see the spirit of brothers in these last times when all hell's breaking loose. And brothers going to be standing strong. They're going to be immovable. Okay, they're going to they're going to be very uh, grounded. And they're going to be all messed up in the mind, you know, because Satan's going to be in their mind. They're not going to know the answers. You know, they thought that uh, Bitcoin was it all, and then <laughs> they lose it all. No, everyone's going to lose everything, man. All you're going to have in that day, man, is the Lord. If you're, if you're, and a lot of you people ain't going to have them. I got a pizza for that. So you're going to be caught out there. Isaiah 33. Come on. Because the scriptures say riches profited not in the day of evil. So mm-hmm. the these these cryptos, we're, we're, we're just giving you that wisdom and knowledge to withstand in that day. If you can deal with the crypto now, you deal with it. You know, it's not wicked. <coughs> it's only wicked once you put it inside your body. Mm-hmm. Once you get that uh, the incision, uh, according to uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. And Revelation, the 14th chapter, and I believe the 16th chapter talks about if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. Okay, because yep. all the chip is going to just be that technology, that blockchain, blockchain technology put inside your hand. So this is uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. <clears throat> and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's right. And that's the time we're coming in, brothers. All right. All we're going to have is that wisdom and knowledge. And then go on, and then let's go back to uh, Matthew 10. Right. And then read... Uh, uh, 18 and read 19. Because this is when Isaiah 33 comes into play, okay? Yes, this happened to to the men, uh, are the apostles and disciples 2,000 years ago. But hey, now it's happened again. Now it's going to happen again. Other thing, we're in that we're in that time repeating itself again in the modern day setting. The acts of the apostles is happening now. Hence. Why we give double honors to our elders who are the apostles. Uh, uh, read that. This is Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I will send you forth at... It's like it. This is uh, <coughs> 18. You can start there, right? Uh, this is Matthew 6. Uh, Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's right. Keep going. But beware of men, for they will deliver you to the councils. That's right. Beware of men, for they will deliver you to the councils. All right. Keep going. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when when they deliver you up, Take no thought how how or what ye shall speak. Right. For it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. Right. Don't worry about what you got to say. All right. Because we got the, just like in Isaiah 30, <laughs> that wisdom and knowledge, that stability, that's, it's going to come through to you. How? Keep going. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father will speak in you. Which is the whole reason why they want you to come and talk to him, man. Because the spirit, they they know that you have that testimony against them, all right? And you you they know that the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is on you, and they want to hear that spirit. Why? Because they can't they can't get it from anywhere else. You think Most High is dealing with them? They don't have that wisdom and knowledge, all right? They don't have that strength of salvation, right? They don't fear the Lord. Those are our treasures. Their treasure is the Bitcoin. Their treasure is the Fed coin. Their treasure is guns, violence, all right? The the power they hit. Hegemonic power of violence that Esau has, all right? No, we don't need that, man. We have the spirit of Yah Bashim Yahushah. And you brother, want to wrap it up on that? You got anything else to say? Uh, no, no, that was it. That was it. Con, with that, brothers, man, get ready, man. We, that time's coming, right? And death to you damn so-called white people. Shalom. Shalom.